Hi everyone, welcome back to Mindesk. Today we're going to look up the setup from the start. First off, we need to go ahead and launch Steam. So on the control panel, type in Steam. Launch the app. Make sure your headset is connected. Once it launches, there's a little button at the top right called VR. Click that. This starts the VR sensors and the controllers. You'll see at the bottom, the VR will pop up as well as a little window. If you see the controllers are gray, make sure you power them on. Next, we're going to open up the Rhino file we want to work in. In this case, I want to be using Grasshopper directly. So once I launch Rhino, I'm going to the command line and type in Grasshopper. This new feature of Mindesk allows you to parametrically design as you move things around in real time. I set up a simple definition that has the Mindesk plugin at the end. We want to keep this inactive for now. From there I'm going to set up my desktop so I can have the Rhino window open, the Grasshopper window open, and also the Mindesk window open. Now we're ready to launch the Mindesk plugin. So at the top under the Mindesk tab, pull that down and start VR. Give this about 10 seconds to start up. First it'll be gray and then the background should turn blue. Once you see your model, set up the screen so that you can see all three windows. Even though you will have the headset on and not be able to see what's going on on the screen, this is very helpful when you're collaborating and also if you take off the headset. Before we activate the Mindesk plugin, we want to go ahead and check our Grasshopper to make sure we have everything in the right place. So it's basically a simple loft that's broken into a triangulated surface and then is activated by the mind desk. Once you have the headset on, you can hit you can right click and hit enabled to turn on the geometry and you'll notice on the left and immediately you see the mind desk. So pulling the model closer to me, I'm going to grab one of the curves using the move tool and you will see it parametrically update as I manipulate the model. So I move it up triangulation surface comes up. The grasshopper can also be adjusted in real time and the person using the VR headset will see the updates, which is a nice way to collaborate with each other. The mind desk, the grasshopper also works with manipulating the actual geometry, not just moving it. So in this case, I'm gonna turn on the curve points and move the last point of the curve over and you will see the update in the surface. Some users are more comfortable with flipping the controls. Using the quick key I, you can flip the controllers at the bottom, you can notice they're flipping as I hit I. Another quick key is M, which will allow you to go from third person to first person perspective. This is especially helpful when you're recording augmented reality sessions. Lastly, F11 gives you a full screen interface, which is great for screen captures. Thanks everyone and stay tuned for more Mindest tutorials.